The art of war. You know it's me who has gonna be king of rape. One to him, Brian. Bullet up selector. Bullet up selector. A leg of this hour. Shot and Stone Boy had their long awaited face off. So I watched the full clash from start to finish. And I have to say, I love the event. Assassin Radio, the organizers set up something amazing and for an honorable cause fighting the pandemic. From the build up to the launch of the event, the media, the PR, the marketing was second to none to the main event. Shawnee B said his introduction. The national anthem was sung. And the rules of engagement was read. Let me tell you what the rules are. Which, upon hearing, I was immediately disappointed because it wasn't what I expected. We are listen to the rules. We are going to have 40 songs from each artist. 40 songs. Each song can be played for a maximum of one minute. You are allowed a 15 second intro to your song for maximum impact. So you can do it like a dancer selector. When you say dance hall clash, it's like being a gladiator in the Colosseums. Two warriors eye to eye, with the eyes of the world upon them, battling it out to prove to the people who the better man is. On stage they're entranced in battle, with the bandsmen behind them, beating the talking drums to the rhythm of war, to which both men do battle. There is no allies, no conferring with friends, there is only you and your opponent, your song and the lyrics that flow naturally in the midst of battle. These to me are the ingredients of dance and warfare and clash. And what took place in my eyes was more like a soundtrack. Where DJs like Tony Matahan and Futa Hype would play song for song to see who win. And it had a little mixture of the verses style setup, and that's the issue. The fault of the disappointment lay firmly with myself. Assassin Radio has been advertising for a sound clash between the two artists, and a sound clash it was. With a bit of variation, but the two artists played the roles of DJs. What was different was that they were playing their own songs. Entitling it Sound Clash, this is what caused the confusion. And I don't consider my Myself alone, the people expected different. So a clash it wasn't, but a sound clash it was. I don't know the full history of the beef between the two men over the years. TRB is just getting into the scene, feeling it out, trying to understand and contribute to it positively. But if there's a dispute for dominance, superiority in the music, this wasn't the right setting to deliver to the people a definitive answer and to set things straight once and for all. In my eyes, the debate continues and by that I mean no disrespect to the artists and the fans. Where me come from, war! The war when me talk about, war take place in a, yo, in a different way. A war of this magnitude needs a staging of the magnitude to match. My suggestion? is the whole a sting ghana 2021 clash or something of that nature a week-long event on the bill the best of the best from ja jamaica the land we love and the best of the best from ghana the gold coast come to perform together and whoever need for clash then clash with this we will achieve unity amongst our people Unity for the love of the culture. Standing together for dancehall and reggae. It would be a demonstration. Jamaica, the Caribbean, the diaspora at large, Africa, Ghana, the motherland, united. These are things that have come to shape that reggae boy's journey. And I can't make it happen alone. 
It takes the support of you, the people, the artists and the organizations that are stewards of the music. Let it manifest into being a reality. You know where to find me. It's been that reggae boy. TRB. Peace. I'm out.